Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie Haft, Executive Director of Circles USA. Last year, we launched our theme of breakthrough to acknowledge the strength of Circles chapters, breaking through obstacles and achieving financial security, reliable transportation, and other forms of well being for their whole communities. To launch the new year, this webinar will share our latest breakthroughs in poverty alleviation. From the people-powered momentum of our network, we are making waves of change. Today, I'll speak to five different waves of change with ideas for the year ahead and invitations for you to get involved. But first, I want to tell you about one of our Circle Leader graduates. This is Patricia. I was privileged to hear her story last year. When we spoke, she showed the strength that she's exhibited her entire life. In 1990, she fled an abusive relationship in El Salvador with her three small children. She had a harrowing journey through Mexico and the US before finding asylum in Canada. She accessed Canadian social services when she needed it, but for 25 years, Patricia said, it still felt like she was treading water, surviving. When she found a community of Circles friends, over time, she was able to catch her breath and move from surviving to thriving. Here she is now, posing with vegetables from the garden tended by her Circles chapter, graduating and becoming a personal support worker for her county, enjoying the snow with her ally, Simone and realizing her goal of purchasing a car. She says that all of her well-being she got from people in circles. We are building community to end poverty, and that brings a wave of change to all involved. We combine direct services with systemic change to support people like Patricia to get out and stay out of poverty. For nearly two years, the pandemic has caused social isolation and economic instability. But Circles is benefiting both those experiencing poverty, the circle leaders, and those volunteering, the allies. Together, we are finding purpose, community, and fulfillment in a mutual exchange of care. It's more than charity or job training alone can accomplish. It's a community of friends offering lasting support on all levels. With such acute financial insecurity, it's easy to feel like we're living underwater. But our community is generating power beneath the surface. With circles, we can rise above the current and catch our breath. In the spirit of growth, we now have 80 active communities. In the US, we are present in 22 states, 53 counties, and 21 big cities. Plus, there are 19 locations in Ontario, Canada. I want to welcome the new chapters established in 2021. You broke through obstacles and got started. Way to go. Our community of practice is more active than ever before. We've got quarterly peer support calls for circles, coaches, coordinators, and youth program organizers. The calls offer idea sharing and emotional support to relieve the extreme overwhelm many staff and volunteers have felt during the pandemic. We even regularly engage a mental health expert on the call with coaches, and we're planning additional webinars on trauma-informed practices. Our one-to-one -one coaching calls are continuing. Last year, Circles USA headquarters staff conducted 155 coaching calls and 135 data calls. Our regional hubs are growing too. Our partner, Poverty Solutions Group, based in Central Florida, is convening the Southwest. Our partner, Arrive Utah, is providing training and technical support. And in 2022, we're convening special, special sessions for chapters in the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic. Plus, we're building coalitions with other federated nonprofits. 
For example, we're working with Family Promise, which provides a community-based solution to homelessness. Our virtual conference last year was a lot of fun. Check out this infographic from our post-conference survey. Since in-person events are still getting interrupted due to the COVID variants, we're thinking that for this year, we'll do another virtual conference and then an in-person gathering, hopefully in the next year. Our chapters are swelling the wave. We're moving from surviving fear and poverty to thriving as a stable, prosperous community. The Circles Network not only helps us catch our breath, it's like a wave that propels us to shore. Next is the momentum for advancing systemic change. The Circles model is driving breakthrough solutions for civic engagement through the big view and the creation of poverty alleviation systems. Our approach is always about listening to circle leaders with firsthand knowledge of the barriers to success, and then convening community members from across sectors, government, education, nonprofit, business, and philanthropy to find solutions. Together, we are shaping stopgap measures and policy change. It's about breaking that undercurrent that can pull families back into poverty. Our policy platform continues to give chapters ideas for their big view actions. As you may remember, we first surveyed our chapters and they identified six issues, quality jobs, the cliff effect, broadband access, healthcare, housing, and transportation. The platform gives specific local, regional, and national actions related to each issue. For 2022, we're producing a report of all the big view actions, large and small, being pursued in our network. Here are two examples of big view actions from Utah. Circle Salt Lake was part of drafting and passing a truth in renting bill. The bill protects renters from being ambushed by hidden fees that weren't shown when they signed a lease, and it requires landlords to be present about any restrictions related to criminal records or credit histories before pocketing application fees. On the left, here's circle leader Gina at a meeting with nine state senators and representatives. Circle's Carbon County, pictured right, heard from their circle leaders that a local utility company had exorbitant late fees and connection fees. They are working to get the company to relax its penalties. The cliff effect happens when a pay raise triggers a disproportionate loss of government assistance. Our chapters are testing new tools from our brilliant partners. Leap Fund created a calculator to determine if you'll hit a cliff, when it will happen, and when you can expect to surpass it. And the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, their tool pictured here, built an online planner to compare the earning potential of different job pathways and anticipate the benefits cliffs to overcome. These are such great tools. 2022 is another election year, so it's another opportunity to promote nonpartisan voter education and voter turnout. It's not about who to vote for, it's just about voting. Our chapters will be doing civic engagement campaigns, and we have a wealth of resources. As an evolution of the big view, Circles USA and our founder, Scott Miller, are currently working with these communities to create poverty alleviation systems. Congrats to these enterprising groups. Here's an example from Hastings, Nebraska. Their United Way and Community Impact Network invited us to join their planning process. Together, we came up with a bold goal reducing poverty by 30% by 2030. And then we designed a plan and a way to track progress on that goal. Another example from Cookville, Tennessee. Their community action agency is focused on economic development. They invited us to help envision prosperity pathways for specific industries, such as healthcare, information technology, manufacturing, and more. 
They know that workers with low wealth will need a support system to navigate the various services. For example, affordable childcare, healthcare, mental health and substance abuse treatment, and more. The plan is to gather communities to find solutions to the systems barriers and service gaps so people can be successful on their job pathways out of poverty. I'm excited for the potential of workplace-based circles or industry-specific circles. For example, we can recruit a cohort of circle leaders who are becoming nurses, and we can provide training to that local hospital to raise the hospital's poverty IQ so they're more supportive of these workers. Chapters are already doing work like this. It's exciting. As we advance systemic change, we're able to get more families out of poverty for good. Equity is the wave of change that's been swelling in the US for generations. Some populations are historically more vulnerable to poverty. When it comes to money, race, gender, sexuality, and geographic location matter. This wave requires us to take inventory of our standards for equity. This year, Circles USA is reaffirming our commitment. We are going to grow our initiatives and training around justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. Here are some priorities. We are appointing a new advisory council for the board. That way, the direction of Circles USA will be shaped by members, including those with lived experiences of poverty. We recently introduced a Spanish translation of the Circles curriculum. In 2022, we will convene a community of practice of chapters using this translation, and we'll make further edits to make sure all the material is culturally relevant. We will continue to hold webinars to increase belonging with specific groups. Last year, we held two webinars related to the disability community and the LGBTQ community. And critically, we are boosting the opportunities for training. Our online ally training has an intentional focus on the link between systemic racism and poverty, as well as issues affecting women. To date, about 500 of our volunteers have taken this training. Plus, we're continuing our partnership with Bread for the World. They are a nonpartisan, faith-based advocacy organization focused on ending hunger. Their racial wealth gap learning simulation explores how federal policies have affected communities of color. Since February of 2020, that simulation has been facilitated at our quarterly hands-on training for new staff and volunteers. Almost 250 people have experienced the simulation. There's still more to do, but we're building momentum. The next wave of change is all about data. We're analyzing quantitative and qualitative data to improve outcomes, getting more families out of poverty for good. We now have a sample of 800 circle leaders who journeyed from circles registration to class completion to 18 months. Look at these income gains from 18% to 34% to 49 to 70%. In addition to income, we track gains in education, employment, home ownership, reliable transportation, and social support. Our partnership with the University of Western Australia is maturing. Justin, Abia, and Lenny are our collaborators from the public health department there. Last year, they analyzed 10,000 anonymous circle leader records. We were thrilled with their discoveries. 12.8% of our participants, our circle leaders, reached 200% of the federal poverty guidelines. Then, 32.6% of circle leaders doubled their income, and 70% of circle leaders who stayed in the program for at least 18 months showed significant income gains too. Going forward, we're going to further analyze these results based on characteristics of circle leaders. For example, to what degree are women with children in the house struggling to achieve their goals? How can we further customize circles to support historically marginalized groups? I'm grateful to UWA for their work coding so many records so we can further analyze.
Another important academic partnership comes through Stanford University Spark. We wanted to work with Spark because of their holistic approach to measuring mobility from poverty. It's not only economic success, mobility from poverty also means being valued in community and having power and autonomy. Spark helped us design our survey for allies, staff, and volunteers. Since we launched it two years ago, we've gotten 1,000 survey responses. This year, we are going to analyze and report back on the research questions. For example, to what degree does circles increase one's empathy for people who are different from them, improve one's own social relationships, challenge one's own misconceptions and negative stereotypes of poverty, and provide inspiration to become an agent of community change. Stay tuned for the results coming later this year. At Circles, we know that poverty is not an individual problem. It requires a measurable community response. This research will continue to reveal our positive outcomes and flag potential obstacles to progress. We're asking you to keep contributing data. Our work is all about building relationships across lines of difference. Community dialogues and multimedia storytelling are powerful tools to promote empathy. The stories of circle leaders are the energy driving our waves of community change. We learn so much from those who have transformed their sense of self and their relationship to poverty, who have become internal and external barriers to financial well being. Stories offer motivation to persist through hard times. That's why this year we are deepening partnerships with organizations that believe in the power of story as much as we do. The IDEOS Institute is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the role of empathy in conflict transformation. Numerous chapters just participated in their National Day of Dialogue. And if you missed it, the recordings are on their site. In 2022, we're planning to bring a dialogue program from IDEOS to more of our chapters. We piloted the program with one chapter to great success, so stay tuned. In our written series called Lives Transformed, circle leaders tell their own stories in their own voices. They document their struggles and their achievements. We've been told that the writing process has given circle leaders insight on their own journeys and in some cases, even closure from past struggles. This year, we are privileged to share stories from three circle leaders, Patricia, as well as Kyle from Circles Columbus, Georgia, who found community connections that helped him achieve his dream of working as a business analyst, and Deb from Circles Troop County, Georgia, who gained support to reach her goal of home ownership and paid it forward by organizing support for all of her students on her bus. I encourage you to read these stories on our website. Since we've been so moved by written stories, in 2022, we're leaping off the page and creating documentary style videos. We're planning a few different stories of circle leaders and one story of a community pursuing systemic change. Can't wait for the watch party. In closing, I return to my conversation with Patricia, she spoke to me about the wave of change that carried her from her old life to her new one. And she mentioned two qualities, perseverance and trust. Perseverance is that inner spark that keeps us going forward. And even when life knocks us down, our trust in each other, in the circles community that we've built is there to support us. Let's keep up the momentum producing these waves of change this year and beyond.